Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Bjorning, and I'm back here in the 21st Hall after a rather fruitless effort to find those quest givers. I probably took a wrong turn somewhere, which is not all that unusual. But it looks like a Moger wants to speak with me again, so let's have a talk with him. Hear me out, friend, for I have a tale of glory to tell. Had enough of Zelamela, had you? Well, you will always be welcome in the 21st Hall, Pineclaw, for the services you did us. There is a goat waiting at the stable that already knows the, the way there. If you do not wish to take the chances on the road, it would be a difficult journey to Orc Watch. Alright. Very well. So let's try to the Orc Watch. Does he mean that of course, there's already a ghost. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Casa Doom. Now, unfortunately, the Orc Watch goat is one that is. Yeah, it knows the way, but it's not a swift travel one. And this is a humongously long ride. So, oh, the Orc Watch is... To the Orc Watch is a level 56 quest. So, therefore, I think I will just skip by Zelamelech. I think the goat's going to take me right by a co the quest givers that I had trouble finding. So, I was thinking then maybe I could just jump off the goat halfway and then I'll be done. But, what I'll do instead is I'll get back to you when I arrive at Orc Watch, and we will do some quests in the Redhorn Loads. So I'll see you then. We have made it here to Orc Watch, and I found out that I needed to have turned earlier when I was doing there. For some reason, I went straight for too long when I got lost in the halls earlier. But we're here at Orc Watch now, so we won't worry about getting lost in Zelamelech. Ava, hello there. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazadum. Ah, greetings to you, Bjorning. Welcome to the Orc Watch. We are certainly in need of aid if you that is why you came. Stand and speak with me. The fate of Khazadum hangs in the balance. Some of our finest dwarves are gone. The Orc Watch was once a warmer place, but the day has come and gone with our old friends called this place home. It was a sad day when they parted for riches and fame into deeper parts of the Redhorn Lows. You should lament with my fellow dwarves here, who may have more words to say about the matter. I tend to get back to my ale. All right. What does he have to say? If it were not for the prospect of finding Mithria, I would not have come here. Indeed, it feels empty here without them. Our friends set out for untold riches, but I have my doubts there is much left with all the orcs scurrying about down below, not to mention the Greyberg. Ignifest hinted to me before they left that they believe the fellowship would part ways somewhere along the way. Ignifest wanted to stick together with all the dangers they might face down there. Some were intent on heading to the southern cavern, while Ignifest and Rar were intent on the rich ore found around the old mining tracks. Okay. Right, of course. Well, let's... <laughs> Level 58, I think, is when that opens up. Alright, yes. The Bjorning quest, yes. What's a Bjorning doing here in, the, in Moria? Of course, class quest. May Durin return soon to his halls. Roar couldn't stop talking about the adventures he and his fellow dwarves would see down in the Redhorn. 
He is a miner at heart, and he stayed here in Orkwatch for too long. His heart ached for the ore that he knew was out there. If you see my dear old friend, please send him my greetings. So speak with Iasov. All right. Down, down, and... Well... We'll see. Dark things dwell now in Moria. Our old friends have departed and will be missed. But I do worry about them. They left on an ill goat who was struggling to pull their supply wagon. I think their goat may have left a mess in the road behind them. Could you follow the road down towards the Red Horn cavern floor and make sure the dwarves made out all right? Uh, please take this shovel and help clear out the mess left behind. You want me to collect goat droppings. Right tea Alright, goat. Well Goat dropping. Alright, how good grief. Well, I'd say one thing for sure, the goat's certainly not constipated. Uh, that is quite sure. All right. Three. Well, I hope the good reef. Certainly not going to. <laughs> Well, it's certainly going to be cleansed out after this, that's for sure. Alright. Oh, someone up ahead. We'll see what's going on down here. Not that I didn't see the place already when I came and did my little quick jog by here earlier. Balin came, but we have heard no word from him. Whoa, you smell ripe. Oh, did you clean up the road behind us? The goat pulling our wagon down from Orkwatch didn't seem too well. Thank you for cleaning up the mess, but please quickly take it over to the pile over near the goat. Uh, you are looking a little green for the smell. If, if, and I might join you soon. Ooh. Yeah. Good. Yeah, anything to get rid of that. Okay. Whew. I'm not sure Casa Doom can be restored. The orcs have surely ruined it. Other than our goat not feeling well, we've run to into a lot of orcs who are in the way of the ore that we came down here for. We didn't make it a night before the Fellowship of the Orc Watch parted ways. Cooley took Alti with him in search for the southern cavern for treasure and ore, and Kronk went with Kafli and headed east towards the orcs. I worry about these two. I hope they made it wherever they were headed. All right. What foul and nameless things we face in Mori, I know not. I'm glad our friends at the Orc Watch sent you to check on us. We didn't heed their warning of trouble down here. And they were right. You came just in time. We have always had trouble with the Moria Orcs lurking in dark places, but the White Hand Orcs just march in and take what they want. Moria Orcs once claimed most of the Redhorn loads, but they let their guard down and recently the White Hand stormed in and seized control of most of their territory. It's mayhem down here, over our precious ore. You should join the fray, and while they're distracted fighting each other, we will have an opportunity to weaken them both. It's time to strike while the iron is hot. Now the thing that doesn't quite work well with the epic storyline is that after you finish this is when you learn that there are two really big factions down here. And that's the other confusing thing, because here you're talking about the faction between the Moria Orcs and the White Hand Orcs, and that is... Actually, I'll take that back. 
I will carry on. Many foul things dwell in the depths of the mountains. I fear the orcs will be the least of our troubles. I was out scouting the moment the movements of the orcs, and I overheard a pair of white hand archers that wandered by. They didn't see me, and I was able to eavesdrop on their conversation. They mentioned that a white hand raiding party assaulted the Moria orcs. They fended it off, but took many losses. It sounds like the white hand is gaining control of the red horn. It would bode ill for all of Moria if they gain control of the resources here. And Bjarni, the only chance we have is if they maintain their struggle, while we work to weaken them both. I suggest that you begin by making sure the White Hand raiding parties cease their assault. Look for the White Hand raiding parties between the two tribes of Orc encampments. Alright, so play the Orcs off of each other. Oh, glorious day! We shall soon restore Moria! And while you're at it, those blasted orcs are stealing our ore! I want you to get it back! So I need to recover ore from White Hand Orcs and from Moria Orcs. Okie dokie! So let us finally get going for some of the real quests. And we also have to be collecting barrels. Now the reason why I changed my mind concerning the ore and all that stuff is it's hard to say what's going on in the epic storyline, but it's possible that well, I would say I'm trying to avoid spoilers right here, so that's the reason why I'm being hesitant on saying it, but when we get to the point where this is leading to I'll say why I changed my mind about the way things were introduced here on the order. All right. Now, just turn that on. Now, any more of these barrels? Now, very often I have a history of only doing the barrel quest. But yeah, all right. So I am way. Yeah, because I'm way up here, and of course all the orcs are down there. So let us go this way. Yep. Now I'm wondering, how do they get up there? I mean, really, that is... That's a very, very steep grade. That's a very steep grade. I'm just trying to think pushing the mine cart up there that will not be easy especially considering what you have there what are you gonna do have it hauled up by goats or something I mean poor goats if that's the case that's all I can say about that matter all right here let's go laborers all right here we go here are some orcs uh, we could get going and killing them yeah, we're here to collect barrels, but we're also here to kill orcs. I'll be alright. Directive here. Alright, there we go. That's one orc down. And we need to kill six of these orcs. Oh, and, I, and I'm collecting four. Good. Well, that's plenty of them. All right, now. Ooh, what do we have up here? Oh, one of my barrels. And Moria tribe report. Oh, you have found a report about the orc tribe. This is a vital piece of information and is a good record of the strengths and the weaknesses of the tribes. The dwarves of the Orc Watch will find this invaluable, so I need a Moria tribe report and a White Hand report. So I'll need to find the other one so that we have both sides of the story. Alright, yeah. 
right hand territory, we will soon have to find more territory. Bother thinking for him. That guy probably is taking care of this guy more efficiently just by staying in bear. And maybe that wasn't such a bad idea. I still have to get a raiding party, but a raiding party would mean going into Moria territory anyway. Oh, it's back. Here's a raid leader right here. Well, we're going to have some time to get all these ones down. And there we go. That was... I thought I needed to... Okay, for some reason, I thought I was supposed to be killing a green party. Ah, I must be confusing him for later. Alright, never mind. That's the problem when you have quests all over the place. I miss this thing. Change shape. Yeah, I have, they used to have two half tiers in Mori where they had different things that you found. Which made things really confusing back then. But, in fact, that's the reason why they have two resources instances. of the groups of resources. But they decide to consolidate them in time. Alright. Alright, let's see. I still need to find more black powder. Yes, it's that part, alright. I need to kill more and more. See, that's just returned for there. Yeah. I just need to get into Moria territory. Ah, and here is Moria territory. Speaking of which... So this will open our way up here. There we go. Go and not done. All right, now you're done. All right, now we found Moria territory. So next time we will head into Moria territory and take care of some more orcs and then report in. But that'll be our next episode of Piney Plays, the Bjorny.